my name is Bridget Ferguson. This is speech number four, and I've chosen to do a biography on child actress Shirley Temple. When you think of Shirley Temple, you picture a young movie star with incredible talent. If you search the internet for her, you can find many sites full of information, such as ShirleyTempleFans.com, NNDB.com, and you can find lots of information about her on Wikipedia. You'll find that Shirley Jane Temple was an award-winning child star. She was a tap dancer and singer and born in April 1928 in Santa Monica, California. She was the most famous child star during the 1930s and earned more than any other Hollywood star during the Great Depression. When she was only three years old, she started taking tap dance lessons at a studio in Los Angeles where an educational studios executive saw her and asked her to audition. There, when she was three months, three years old, just a few months after she started taking lessons, she was given a contract where she signed at the age of three. Her mother Gertrude managed almost all of her career for her. She even managed everything down to the last detail as of the curls in her hair. She had to have exactly 56 curls in her hair of every picture she made. At the age of five, she had starred in several movies, including Bright Eyes, where she sang her classic on the good ship Lollipop. Later, she made a racy breakthrough when she danced on screen with the original Mr. Bojangles in her famous, famous tap dance scene on the stairs. Shirley was the first recipient of the Juvenile Performer Academy Award in 1935 for recognition of her outstanding contribution to screen entertainment in 1934. Six-year-old Shirley Temple was the youngest performer ever to receive this honor, and she held that honor until 1974. Another fact that many people do not know is that Shirley Temple's birth certificate was backdated by an entire year to keep her at a younger age. Shirley herself did not even know this until she was 13 years old. As Shirley began to show signs of maturing, her picture movies started going down in the amount that she was making. And for the first time, she was able to attend a relatively normal private school. There at the school, she met her first husband, actor John Agar, and they were married when she was 17 years old. John, however, could not handle the pressure of being Mr. Shirley Temple, and he began drinking heavily. Their marriage did not last, and when she was 21, they were divorced. In their marriage, however, they did have daughter, Linda. Soon after her divorce, she went on vacation in Hawaii, and there she fell in love with executive producer Charles Black. The thing that she admitted that admired the most to her about him was that he admitted to her that he had never seen any of her movies. Shirley, just to check him out and be on the safe side, called up an old friend, FBI director J. Edgar Hooper, and asked him to check into Black's background before he got serious. Shortly later, they began dating, and they were married. During this marriage, she had son Charlie Black Jr. and daughter Lori Black. In 1967, Shirley ran for Congress on a platform urging more American involvement in the war in Vietnam. She lost the election and even complained later that a lot of it had to do with the fact that in political cartoons, they portrayed her as a child actor up against the big grown-up politicians. She remained in active in Republican politics and was named by Richard Nixon to serve as a United States Representative to the United Nations. She was later an ambassador to Ghana. During the Ford administration, she was the first female Chief of Protocol for the White House. She was later a Foreign Affairs Officer for the State Department under Ronald Reagan. And it was ironic because he was earlier played her romantic interest four decades earlier in a motion picture that they started together. Shirley Temple Black is often remembered as the first celebrity to publicly discuss her involvement with breast cancer. She appeared on the cover of People magazine in 1999 with the title Picture Perfect, and again later that year as part of her special report, Surviving Breast Cancer. On September 12th of 2005, the Screen Actors Guild presented Melissa, President Melissa Gilbert announced that Shirley would receive the Guild's most prestigious honor the Screen Actors Guild Lifetime Achievement Award. Shirley was distraught about accepting the award because her husband had just passed away, but carried on because she did feel like she deserved the award. Shirley set the stage for child actors such as Jodie Foster and Macaulay Culkin to portray the part and follow their dreams like they wished.
but there are still no other child stars that have ever graced the screens with her magazine. And let me show you my audience. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it.